Blood is crucial for the delivery of fresh oxygen into the body of all vertebrates around the world. The weight of blood in humans, in fact, is about 10% of our entire body weight. When we talk about blood, we are most likely thinking of a liquid colored deep red due to the presence of red blood cells. Inside those red blood cells are hemoglobin, the active protein that actually carries oxygen. Hemoglobin is the most important part of red blood cells. Without it, we would surely die. But would it surprise you to learn there are actually a large handful of animals that don't have any hemoglobin at all? Instead, these groups possess different binding proteins that assist with oxygen transportation. The most fascinating part of this difference is the fact that these unique proteins will actually change the color of blood in those animals. Hemoglobin may be the reason for red blood, but today I'm going to go over the reasons some animals have blue, purple, green, and yellow blood. Blue blood is actually more common in the animal kingdom than you think. This blood is actually a light blue color, unlike the deep blue in appearance that deoxygenated venous blood can take in humans. The first large group that has blue colored blood are the arthropods. This includes some arachnids and most crustaceans. Everything from scorpions to lobsters and crabs will bleed blue. Perhaps one of the more well-known animals that bleeds blue is the prehistoric horseshoe crab. Although having crab in the name, this animal is actually much more closely related to spiders. Mollusks are the other group that have this unique blood coloration. Notable animals from these groups are octopus and squid. Some snails and limpets will also possess this adaptation as well. The actual reason behind the blue color is the presence of a binding protein called hemocyanin. Hemocyanin is actually clear, but changes color when binded with fresh oxygen. Very uniquely, this protein carries two copper atoms with it that when bonded with oxygen, turns blue. The most intriguing example of hemocyanin occurs in the Chilean abalone. Abalone are large sea snail-like gastropods sought after for their rich, flavorful meat. It is hypothesized that the hemocyanin in this abalone species can actually fight bladder cancer. Tests have been conducted with tumor cells in mice and showed significant remission of the tumor as well as a larger survival rate. Although promising, much more testing needs to be conducted until hemocyanin can actually be used as a treatment in humans. Purple blood is a lot less common than blue blood in the animal kingdom. Completely opposite to red blood, purple is actually only seen in marine invertebrates. Even more interesting, this color only occurs in the weirdest looking of organisms. Unsegmented marine worms are perhaps one of the most bizarre looking animals in the animal kingdom. With a large body trunk connected to a retractable mouth, these peanut worms eat fallen food from the seafloor. They are often found hiding under rocks or marine mud. Another animal that bleeds purple are the brachiopods. And although that name might make you think of a dinosaur, they're actually a rare shell-living animal that resembles a clam. The protein responsible for the purple blood found in these animals is called hemerythrin. Similar to hemocyanin, this protein is actually colorless until bound with oxygen. Once binding occurs, the blood, of course, turns a pinkish violet. The iron-rich hemerythrin is also hypothesized to have some very unique healing properties. Some think that this protein actually contributes to the innate immune system response of the animals it's found in. Purple blood is also thought to contribute to tissue regeneration in certain worm species. Essentially, hemerythrin can heal a damaged animal from the inside out. Perhaps the rarest of all blood colors is green. However, there are actually two completely unique reasons for this occurrence of the color. The first reason is very similar to the colors from before. Chlorocuronin is another oxygen binding protein similar to hemoglobin. This protein is only found in a few segmented marine worms such as the tube worms. Tube worms are fascinating in that they actually cannot move themselves. Instead, they hide in small tube houses which protect them from the outside surroundings. These worms are filter feeders who have a unique fan-shaped crown that they use to breathe. 
Some species of tube worms can live in hydrothermal vents deep under the sea. Living at temperatures at over 350 degrees Celsius, these worms have been given the animal title of extremophiles. The other driver behind green blood actually occurs in humans as well. As hemoglobin eventually breaks down in our bodies, the recycled iron from our blood is converted into a waste product called biliverdin. This green bile pigment is responsible for the green colors and bruises, but is usually excreted in feces relatively quickly. When this isn't properly excreted in humans, jaundice disease occurs and can often lead to death. However, green-blooded skinks have somehow learned to live with high levels of biliverdin, turning both their organs and blood a dark green. By evolving a resistance to the toxicity of this bile pigment, these lizards are completely unaffected. Although no benefits can be immediately seen, scientists believe this adaptation evolved independently, so there must be some sort of hidden benefit. The final blood color I will talk about today is yellow. Found most commonly in beetles, yellow blood can also be found in sea cucumbers and sea squirts. Interestingly, insects usually don't have blood vessels like most other animals. Instead, they have a large hole within their exoskeleton that holds all of their blood for them. Sea squirts and sea cucumbers are both bottom-dwelling marine animals. Sea cucumbers are closely related to starfish and similarly use thousands of little tube feet to get around. Sea squirts, on the other hand, are mostly immobile and are usually found feeding attached to substrate. The proteins that cause yellow blood are called vanabins. Using highly concentrated amounts of the metallic element vanadium, vanabin changes the blood vessel color to yellow. Vanadium is a rare ore that can only be mined in certain areas of South Africa, China, and Russia, making it even more peculiar that these animals are able to find and concentrate unusually high amounts of the element. The use of vanabin is still highly debated as most scientists believe that it actually does not carry oxygen due to the presence of hemocyanin in most of these animal groups. Currently, there is no agreed upon a conclusion for what vanabin actually does for the body. Hopefully, in the near future, some bright biologists can figure it out. That's all I have for today, folks. I hope you learned something new and found the various blood colors found in animals as interesting as I did. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe below. My current plan for this channel is to continue to upload videos in this style, so let me know if you have any comments or recommendations. In the future, however, I do plan to upload some footage I film myself if all goes well. Lastly, if you want to see more interesting animal content, I have a bunch of new content on my TikTok. That you can find in my YouTube description. Like always, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to watch my content. It means the world. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.